Over on The Masked Singer, no more dancing or singing for the alien who was unmasked as LaToya Jackson. I just love this show so much, it tickles me. Especially my guy, Ken Jung. He is so funny there. But now, he is taking his comedy skills back to where it all began. I'd done stand-up comedy for like maybe like 14, 15 years prior to The Hangover, so a lot of people don't know that. Now Ken's stand-up dreams have come true with his own Netflix special. The title's pretty crass. You complete me, ho. But Ken's wife actually suggested it. She's Vietnamese, doctor, last name Ho. And the whole and the joke is you can say anything you want because I'm married a ho. Get in the car, ho. Make me some rice, ho. <laughs> You're Vietnamese? Just out of curiosity, what's your last name? Ho. Oh. Oh. Amid the laughter, Ken also gets incredibly serious and candid in his routine, revealing how his wife overcame breast cancer 10 years ago. The, the fine needle to thread in terms of comedy is to try to find light where there is darkness. And is that how you guys got through that? I mean, did you just bring a lot of comedy to that situation? The short answer is yes. The fact that I was also a physician and, and, and Tran being a doctor, we found a way to break it down medically. And after the first dose of chemotherapy, her tumor responded. So we kind of knew even after the first dose, okay, you know, we're really turning around the court, but she had 12 more rounds of chemo to go. Tram is such like my role model, my hero, yeah. even if we weren't married. I mean, she is just really the strongest person that I know. It was during her chemo when he landed that iconic role in The Hangover. With his wife still in recovery, Ken's co-star Bradley Cooper stepped in to help. He drove me from Vegas to L.A. to be with Tran, and uh, Tran was two weeks from the chemo and couldn't travel. So we were in L.A. for the holidays, and Bradley had us come over to his place and be with his family. It got me through the most difficult period of my life.